Xanaphony here to defeat the bugs. Literally, I killed like four flies today, Mario. Are you proud of me? Were they out? Were they minding their own business, or did you? They were invading my personal space. You want to go first or second? I'll go. I'm on uh, either one. Either one for yeah. me. I'm running. Oh no, Toons, you're crushed. You're defeated. It's over for you, Mario. <laughs> I will play my giant ballpark. All right. So what you do to an insect deck this time, Mario? Um, I actually looked up what was like, what was the people who actually brought insect decks to a tournament. So okay. I made some smart changes. Took out some of the older cards, of course. Well, I'm just gonna stop you right there. I don't think following in the footsteps of people who brought insect decks to tournaments is considered smart. But for what we're doing, sure. Just context is <laughs> important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I must say that giant ballpark is kind of adorable. Just the bugs just playing baseball. Chilling. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you want to... You know what? To be fair, I don't think he wants it to be the ball based on the fact that it looks like that no, deep ball is crying. Alrighty. What do we got to work with here? I got this Toon Dark Magician in hand, um, but I don't have a means of summoning him yet. We got the Toon Mass Sorcerer, which is always nice, and you don't have anything on your field, so I could play this a little slow if I'd like. And I think I just may. I guess I don't have to, because you don't have anything. I don't have anything to fear from using Page Flip now. Yeah, the, sometimes I uh, specifically choose Page Flip on my opponent's turn, just so um, the, you know, can't attack for this turn passes. But I'm mm -hmm. not particularly afraid right now, so let's see. We'll choose, yeah. of course, the uh, should be Black afraid. Luster. Be very afraid of the bugs. And the Gear Golem. What are we getting out here? <laughs> Everything. Honestly, I wanted the uh, Red Eyes to come out so I could get the free Toon Dark Magician on the field, but this is okay, too. I'll take an attack. Man, okay. this really wants you to activate one dip cards. Yeah, it does. We well, could have done that as well, but that's fine. We'll hold on to options. Storming Mirror Force now. Spirits just swords are revealing like. <laughs> Yikes. Alrighty. That's all I got, but I do have my Toon Mass Sorcerer on the field and Black Cluster. So I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Okay, I have like half the deck full of insects. Why am I not drawing one? Because <laughs> my luck is great today and your luck is terrible today. Apparently. Like, I'm not even k kidding. It's kind of been like that for all today's recording sessions. Except or for one duel, but then you drew hard of the card situation. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's go for a little bookmark action. What do we want to get? Um, I really don't know. There's a lot of things we could get. Uh, let's get another page flip. Sure, let's expedite this process. Could have gotten in the gate, but I feel a little mean doing that after our recent Blackwing video. So, we'll do that. And we'll do that. Plus, this is also just a good move in general. Uh, we'll go for the Harpy Lady as an option. Ah, there you are, Red Eyes. Welcome. You're about to help me make a real sick Toon Field. Alright. Do, 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 do. Once per turn, special summon one Toon Monster from your hand. Oh, lovely! Come on out, buddy! There comes you. And then... Pff, yeah, let's get the full deal, shall we? Let's just go for it. Have a good time. Let's get rid of Toon Kingdom, because we're that confident. And, uh... All my strongest monsters are on the field. They can't all attack right now, so I don't win. But they're all here. Woo! Could have gone into some uh, XE plays, but I like this. This is a lovely field. I, I guess Toon Mass Sorcerer is kind of just chilling with all the all the big guys, but you know. 900. Haha, <laughs> extra 100 damage. Although, well, it's also, yeah, the, uh, the yeah. added effect, though. Yep, you made the right call. I would certainly take an extra 100 to stop my opponent from getting one card. Oh, come on. You don't even have any. You don't even have any monsters in your graveyard for me to use Monster Reborn on. <laughs> nope, they have not had to suffer that fate. So, one of the smart things is, 
Well, I might as well just show you since I basically lost no matter what. So I added in this one. Mm -hmm. So you would think, why would I ever run Cocoon of Evolution? This card is like really bad comparatively to new stuff, right? Right. It's because you can still equip it to one of your petite moths and still get off the Cocoon of Evolution with it. All right. So the Super Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. So you can basically skip the whole five turns thing with it if you equip it to the uh, petite moth, which apparently what a lot of insect players did because they just, it was just a free uh, use of it. Sure. Uh, we're going to discard another tune. And uh, I, I can't get rid of my card, so. Here, we'll just grab the negate card, because it's good. And then we'll battle. There you go. Let's get the ancient gear golem doing some stuff. He doesn't get a lot of action. <laughs> Yeah, this one's literally just in here in the uh, off chance that I... Oh, you stopped my attack. In the off chance that I use up all the uh, good cards from my uh, page turn. So he's just an extra name, essentially, with 3,000 attack points. And, you know, it just ha does a little bit more than a blue eyes because he got that effect as well. Yeah. I should probably just put normal swords of revealing light, I won't lie. <laughs> At this point, uh, yeah, but, you know, not every deck overwhelms you. Now, this is a funny... <laughs> Thing. <laughs> Let it fly. <laughs> Effect goes off, but you live at least. So, like the card's head sent to the graveyard? Alright, uh, let's send. There you go. There we go. Nice. It did not do damage to you there. Uh, do you stop the damage? Uh, oh, yeah, if, if you... the player would take damage, you don't. Okay. Yeah, but I needed to make sure I kept my monsters, though. Yeah, tree. All right. <laughs> what? Do I be savage, or do I just let you play? You have a regeki or some sort, don't you? I will right, be savage. Ooh, actually. Ah. Okay. Um, mine. <laughs> oh sure. my. Does that also negate his effect too? I forget. I don't think it does. Here, let me read it for you. Um, you do negate its effects, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind, you're good to go. So, let's see. All right. All right, so I over I linked together these two to bring out the Insector. Insector okay. allows me to discard one card. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I just discard my skill Prisoner. Choose an Insect. All right. And I equip it with the Cocoon of Evolution. I'm just going to choose not to negate here because I want to see where you go. And then I activate Cocoon of Ultra Evolution, sending it away to bring out... Let me see. So I go one insect okay. monster from the graveyard and then draw one card. And get that from your deck. Insect Queen. Mm-hmm. Alright, and then I can return a card to the deck. Let's return one of the... Let's return these three. Lovely. To draw an extra card. Okay. Then I activate the worm bait. Okay. To set down two cards. I'm just going to click off the uh, skip all things here. Because this is really starting to get into a situation where you might be able to sneak something here. <laughs> what? Me? Nah. I mean, like, you got a strong monster, and, you know, who knows? You might be packing a Boral Sword when I'm sitting here with a 0 and a 900 on the field, so. <laughs> no, the issue with Boral Sword is I can only use effect monsters for him, and these tokens all that count. That is true, yeah. I mean, it depends. I mean, I don't imagine your decks for a link building, but you can turn those into other link monsters and then, you know, climb up. But... Let me see. It really depends on how the deck is built. And I don't imagine that's the purpose of it. Alright. Um. 
Yeah, so I'm going to bring out... Yes? Yeah, I'm going to bring out... Using the Petite Moth, the Worm Token, Insector... To bring out... The Seraphin... Alright. Papillon. I don't know, that's probably a type of butterfly or something. I don't know, a lot of butterfly breeds. Mm-hmm. Let's learn today, YouTube. Types and I of send butterflies. That. I can return that to the extra deck to draw one extra card. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, okay. I have heard Swallowtails and uh, the Papillonidae are uh, Swallowtail butterflies. Okay. Of course, everyone's heard of Monarch butterflies. Oh, yeah, let me click off this for you. Do more important things. Do that. These are some nice butterflies. Are you just able to nuke the field right now? I mean, I can stop whatever monster comes out, but like, uh, sorry, I'm just looking at butterflies. <laughs> I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. That's just how confident I am about this duel. I'm just googling butterflies on the side while beating you. So you desperately cling to hope. All right. Okay. Oh, I hate then the dusky what? wing butterflies. They're just like moths, but they're technically butterflies. I don't like moths. Ooh, the red admirals are beautiful. Unchained abomination. Now you're in trouble. Oh, am I? Okay, on it. Thanks for the card, by the way. Anyway, back I to know. butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. What is the card I need to win against with you against? Um, I guess. Yeah. All right. Using these two. Okay. Oh, I can only target your red flare. Ah, fair enough. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yay, that weakness on the field no longer is sitting there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because soon uh, Kingdom stops the targeting thing. So service yeah. don't do it. Let me see. What else can I do? Yeah, Abomination, if I didn't have the two traps I had, so would have been able to do it. So, one thing I was kind of scrounging for, mm -hmm. I was looking for a, uh, I was looking for a way to power up my insect queen, because I can just start tributing and keep on attacking to clear your entire field, and even if you kept like, uh, even if you kept trying to send it away using Toon Kingdom, I can keep on attacking so long as I had materials to tribute away. Did you know the red spotted purple butterfly are neither red nor purple? Really? <laughs> nice. <laughs> sure. All you see, the, it, the uh, that would have been forcing you into a position that if I kept attacking into your weaker monster, and making you drop yeah, your Yeah, I would have just been like, alright, Toon Sorcerer, get out of here. Yeah. But I really do like Toon Sorcerer. He's like super weak, but just having that draw power option is always a good thing. Skill prisoner. Anyone yep. in the comments? Any, any other butterfly fans? <laughs> I know I got a couple uh, friends who are butterfly fans. Like Pugs, for example, Mario. He knows his butterflies. We, we've talked about butterflies before, but... Uh, you not, have, yeah. I'm not a knowledgeable guy when it comes to the butterflies. So hopefully after this video, you know, I'm just a little a little closer to it. Oh, I can't use Comic Hand. Can I not target your big bugs or any of them? Yeah, like, the qu queen protects. The queen protects. Okay. I guess we'll just banish that. Sure. 
And um yeah. Battle. Uh what do we do for fun? Sure, let's attack the queen. That sounds fun. Is it the right call? <laughs> I don't know. No. No one can attack the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. All right, we'll I give did the fucks one more chance here. <laughs> I did a lot, though, you have to admit. No, I yeah, did you, you did actually get the plays moving there at the end. It's just my field was just dominant. Yeah. Classic tune it game. It's either <laughs> one side. Well, it's always one side of a tunes. Just depends on oh, wait. what side. I should have I should have gone first because going second for you is actually not the best sometimes. Ah, uh, yeah, true. I do love setting up first. Check it. Like that. Like that, yeah. And like this. And like. Do I got something to summon? I do. It's not a great summon, but for use of Tomb Terror, I'll do it. Uh, actually, no, I got Page Flip. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just be patient and Page Flip it out. And we'll use that for a potential spell destruction option. There we go! Looking good out here. Um, yeah. We'll flip this up now. So, no matter what I summon by my turn, he's gonna be able to attack. Alright. If he lives, that is. Mm -hmm. Which is tuned, so it's likely, but we'll see. Nice. Grand ball park oh, gets the field. Mm hmm. Ooh, that's right. So as long as as long as the kingdom exists, I cannot target your cards with uh with card effects, right? Right. Not the monsters. Alright. The tune monsters particularly, but they're all gonna be tune monsters. Yeah. Alright, then I'll do this. Which will allow me to get these two out. You gotta learn Blizzard's worm bait and the fact that it does not risk it does not stop at just the two. Like I, if I have more in the hand, I can just keep bringing them out. Yeah, true. Could be good. Hmm. hmm. What what now? I'm trying to figure out like what is the best option to do, honestly. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have had a Red Eyes as a page flip option because I don't have any good two monsters in my hand. But still, ooh, spicy. That'll force a uh, card on me. Um, so, yeah, 100% are gonna. Yeah, we'll tune Terror that. Darn it. All right. Yeah, that's why I grabbed Toon Terror. All right, we got a metaverse as well to go with the whole spiel. Wolfly. Nothing crazy going on my side of the field, but we will get to do some stuff. We're going to activate a uh, Toon Harpy Lady. It's going to be a little spell destruction on top of everything, so... Um, giant Ballpark is rather annoying, but... Yeah, I honestly didn't know this that was... That would be more annoying. Was... <laughs> yep, fair enough. Um, bile. Schmack ya. Just get that out of here. Yep. And I think that's all I got for this turn. Keep it snappy, keep it simple. And... Mm. This is the card I could've used last duel to actually win. Ooh. Darn it. Unfortunate for you. Yeah. Hmm. These tunes are treating me well today. Consistent yeah. kingdom. They they honestly are. Or um, kingdom search. But either way. Yeah. No, what 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 it was is the card is uh it's called corrosive scales, and what it does is I can whip it to one insect. Every time you uh every time you summon special summon or and all that, you uh I gain one counter, and each counter I have, your monsters lose a hundred attack points. Okay. And with all those so, tiny little bugs coming out on the field crawling around. That'll add up. Yeah. Oh no, it's only when your opponent does, so. Oh, okay, so only if I spam at you. So against Wait. a lot of decks, that would be decent. Maybe not so much this deck, but. Yeah, this card was mainly added in to stop the link spam. This was this was the, you know, nerf the, the uh, link spam that when this came out in, I think. Yeah, it makes sense. Alright, do we go for the safety or for the um, faster kill? Um, yeah, we'll go risky. Let's do faster kill. So we won't get the uh, negate card. Um, we'll simply get the page flip. Once again, we play this game. Um, if I get the Black Luster Soldier, I get to do damage now. Otherwise, it'll be damage for later. 
I get the Doom Dark Magician. Still a great card. Um, I'm confident enough with uh, the other cards I have on the field that I'll activate this. And... Yeah, we'll go for a special summon by getting rid of my Toon Kingdom. Not normally something you want to do, but with that I can get out this anyway. Yep, so... And that's much... the one of the few tunes that can attack on the first under summon. I think it's the only one. I can't think of another. I should have attacked with the weaker one first. I guess you would have just waited anyway. Yeah. Alrighty. Now the question lies. Damage? Or uh, clearing the field? I think I'm going to leave you with some field. See what you can do with it. But I'll put All the right. damage on you so the pressure's on. Yep. There's one card that can particularly help me if I can draw it. Alrighty. That's all I got here. Four tunes on the field now, though. It's usually a bad sign. And I have a bookmark in the graveyard to protect my Toon Kingdom if it comes down to that. Wormbait, full field, okay. You gotta love the Wormbait, though, at least. Oh, yeah. Classic good two-token card. Some other ones. I think um, in the Toon deck, I used to run the one that brings out, like, two dark things or whatever to get the Dark Magician and Red Eyes out easier, but... Yeah. Um, this is... You can definitely tell this is from a time before four link spamming was a thing and what and how insects were never particularly good mm -hmm. because the fact that they were never errata to say you can only activate one per turn or true or it's nerf. like it's not that big of a deal just keep doing what you want to do insect players mm-hmm Alrighty. so the climb begins we got insector pico felina coming now here a pick a Felina type of butterfly. Hmm, I guess the, the root word's not gonna come up when I type in the Yu-Gi-Oh card name. The Yu-Gi-Oh card's gonna pop up. Good point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anything else? No, it's just stupid Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Alright. Put these three cards back into the deck to draw that extra card. Alrighty. Uh, okay. That's not gonna help me at all. Hmm. I must say I do enjoy looking at like the root words and Yu-Gi-Oh card names and like seeing how they link up to stuff. The nomenclature, if you will. <laughs> Deep cut from one of our <laughs> recent previous videos. <laughs> Ooh, Nightmare Unicorn comes out to play. I wonder what he would target. Too bad it doesn't destroy all your, uh... Yeah, but they won't be able to attack directly if I don't have that. You know? Yeah. Well, that this is true. Is, this is kind of funny still. And you can kill them if I don't have a Toon Kingdom on the field. Oh, no! The Unchained Abomination! Why do I feel like you have something face down right now? I do. It's just kind of funny. All right. We're in the battle phase now. Let's see. Comic hand, isn't it? No, no, it's not quick play. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's safe to do now. Give it back. Hate that so much. <laughs> you know I gotta have every ounce of field support in this deck available. So we're just gonna keep that nice and safe right there. You can bring your little petite moths out all you want. A good use of petite moth, in, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah, like what you're doing isn't going terribly. It's just that it doesn't specifically get around tunes. I mean, yeah, I think if I, I mean, obviously, if I was having a bad tune game, you'd be winning. But against a lot of decks, this wouldn't be completely terrible. Like it's doing stuff. Mm -hmm. It's it's not doing like yeah unchained abomination you know he's not an end all be all by any means but he's a good card and you brought him out twice now might as well just equip that sure and then <laughs> if only I still had stuff left I could I could bring out like the little top of logic monster. <laughs> 
but I need to be able to special summon to its zone once in order to get its effect off. Ah, uh, yes. No more summons to be had after that. No. Although, I think that's a good shout for this deck, that being said, because you do just, like, pop out random bugs and bug tokens at will. Oh, yeah, it is. Especially if I had a ra if I have a random little bug bait. Oh, baby. <laughs> Worm bait. There we go. Field barrier. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's the counter going off. Lovely. Uh, anything spicy I can do here? Oh, yeah, it's every time you activate a card or effect as well. I forgot yeah. about that. Let's see. Can you be targeted around? I guess I, I can mess around. It's fine. Sure. We're going to go for a uh, big eye. Uh... Moi. Cool. <laughs> Didn't want to attack directly with that, but that's okay. Is it still going to be game? No. Unfortunate. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll just kill that thing. Oh, wait, no, the ballpark guy. Uh, is that yeah. going to go off of? I forget. Oh, wait. No, it's only, it's only when I deal damage. Yeah. I protected you. Oh, yeah, field spells on both sides. Yeah, I forgot it was both sides. Don't see a lot of field barrier, but I, I do only run one in the deck. Just because, you know, it's not going to save you from a flop. Yeah, okay. There you go. Um, I can only do it if I can send a vanilla bug to the graveyard, and then I summon all copies of it. Mm-hmm. Which, in the deck, is only Petite Moth, because that's if I don't want to risk any more. Yeah, makes sense. If only I was able to bring out the ultimate perfectly great moth right now. <laughs> not quite. You would actually be a mo oh, wait. No, oh, even if I were to deal massive damage to you using him, you could just banish him next turn using Toon Black Luster Soldier. Yeah, like I got a protected Toon Kingdom, a good monster out here. So. You have to admit though, the insect deck is, deck is acting a lot better than it used to. Oh yeah, for sure, it's had place. And sure, the plays are just kind of like linking up, but decent. So we'll go for that attack with the Unchained Abomination. Right to your life points, as they all plan to do. Yep. Giant ballpark again. Uh, You know, I never even drew Danger Mothman once. Uh, <laughs> and then attack directly. And we'll let that Black Lester Soldier finish you off. Uh, now, well buzz off! I mean, you have to admit, it's oh, decent good. now. Yeah. I did think Toons would probably have the edge there regardless beforehand, but, you know, you did something. Well, it was either this or the Karibo deck, and I didn't yeah, want to Yeah, there was a choice. Uh, Toons or Karibo, and that Karibo deck's been crushing lately, so. It's mainly not even the Karibo aspect. I feel like I can deal with the power monster. It's the freaking chaos that's in there with the, like... Da, who cares about the chaos? The Karibos are the best part. <laughs> hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you have make sure you leave a like on it comment what you want to see out of bug decks in the future and we will see you next time see you folks